Welcome ladies and gentlemen to my kettlebell full body workout for over 50. My name is Anthony and welcome to 4x4 Circuits. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to your 20 minute kettlebell workout. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. So today's workout, you are going to need a kettlebell. However, if you don't have a kettlebell, a dumbbell will absolutely be fine. With that said, let's head straight into the workout with a warm up, with a march in three, two, one, let's go. Let's lift those knees, keep that core nice and strong and let's get those arms pumping through. Fantastic stuff. So how today's kettlebell workout is going to work? Well, we have 10 exercises for two rounds. We will spend 40 seconds on each exercise, followed by a 20 seconds rest. Within that 20 seconds rest period, I will demonstrate the next exercise. And at the end of the workout, we're going to stretch out those muscles with a full body cool down stretch standard. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this body nice and loose and warm, ready for the kettlebell workout by increasing the pace of the march in three, two, one, let's go. Shoulders back, chest out, pump those arms through. Looking good, well done. Okay, super job. Okay, in five seconds time, we're gonna head over to step jacks. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's step out to the side. Keep that posture nice and upright. Keep the head up facing forward. We're gonna bring the arms up parallel to the ground. Pull the tummy in, keep a nice strong core. And we're gonna keep that breathing under control, in for the nose and out for the mouth. That's it, looking good, well done. Excellent work. Okay, in five seconds time, we're gonna come back to March. We're gonna throw some light punches out in front of us. There's five, four, three, two, and one. Back to March, lifting these light punches come out in front. So we're gonna keep the punches nice and short to protect the elbow joint. We're not gonna overextend those elbows. That's it, looking good, well done. Excellent, down to the ground we go. Nice, good job, well done, super effort. Let's push it out to the sides. Nice, it does, so keep those punches nice and short. Looking good, let's go up above. Nicely done, good effort, ladies and gentlemen. And let's go through it one more time. Let's push it out in front. Nicely done, good. Excellent work. Down to the ground we go. Nicely done, let's keep the marching going, looking good. Push it out to the sides. Super job, finish off, up above, here we go, five, four, three, two, and one, super job. Okay, let's take the feet shoulder width apart, toes facing forward, knees are slightly bent. Pull the tummy, keep a nice strong core, hold that position, bring the arms up to chest level, interlocking the fingers, and we're gonna slowly rotate side to side, one continuous movement, as we activate those oblique muscles, and we're gonna to face towards where we are rotating. Excellent job, well done. Awesome, okay, let's extend that arm for reach up right across, just like that, feel that stretch. Nicely done, nice and slow and controlled, breathing under control, excellent stuff. Okay, let's go up nice and high, open up those back muscles. Lovely job, hold that little pause, have a little stretch. Nicely done, four more, four, three, Two, last one, good job. Now we're gonna warm up the hips. So what we're gonna do, pull the tummy, keep a nice strong core, this will help with the balance. Gonna bring the knee up, out to the side, slowly down. If you can't get the knee all the way up, just try the best that you can. You can do it nice and low as well. So the most important thing, we're gonna take our time. Focus on that balance, focus on the core. That's it, there we go. Looking good. Okay, let's do one more each side to finish off. Nice, good job, one last one. Excellent. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna finish off the warm up now with some arm circles. We're gonna take up nice and high, we are gonna go backwards. That's it, there we go. Warm up those shoulder muscles, slow and controlled. Looking good, well done. Okay, let's change directions, bring it up and over to finish off. Nice and done, good effort. Let's bring it back to me doing four, three, two, one awesome job, that's the warm up completed. Grab yourself a drink of water, I'm going to demonstrate the first exercise with the kettlebell and the dumbbell. Okay, so we're going to start with the kettlebell first, and what we've got is a kettlebell swing. So we've got a feet shoulder width apart just like this, we've got the arms relaxed, 
just in front of us, just like that. I will go side on to demonstrate the exercise. Now with the hips, we're gonna push it forward just like that. And we're going to create a bit of momentum so the kettlebell will gradually will get higher just like that. So we're gonna come up, so the arms come up to chest level parallel to the ground. And as we come up, we squeeze the glutes and keep the shoulders back, chest out. Okay, so what we don't want to do is lift. Because as you lift, the bottom of the kettlebell goes like that. What you want to do is get the kettlebell up like that. Okay, just quickly demonstrate with the dumbbell. I know the intro is a bit long-winded, but we will make sure everyone's doing it correctly. So again, push with the hips and let the momentum take it up just like that. Okay. Cool, right, I'm gonna start the timer. We're off in 10 seconds. Let's get ready to go, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, here we go in five, four, three, two, one. So you're just gonna push it up to start with. There we go, it's gonna create the momentum, create the swing, nicely done. And eventually, you get your arms up, parallel out to the ground. Keep the shoulders back, chest out, pull the tummy and keep a nice, strong core. That's it, there we go. Looking good. Nice and done, you bring the weight back in between the legs. Nice, good, knees are slightly bent. That is perfect, super work. Keep it going, back is nice and flat. 10 seconds to go. Excellent stuff. Keep it up, looking forwards, breathe out as you go up. Three, two, one, super job. Next exercise we've got, feet are shoulder width apart. We're gonna go for a squat into a row. So feet shoulder width apart, sit back into the heels, push up for the legs, stand up nice and tall. Let's get ready to go off in five, four, three, two, one. So down and lead up the elbows, keep a nice strong core. If you don't wanna go all the way down into the squat, you can go halfway, if not a quarter way. Keep the shoulders back, chest out, head up, face and forwards. Lead up with the elbow, and the kettlebell just comes underneath the chin to the upper chest. That's a good job. Well done, keep it going. Great start to the kettlebell workout. Keep it up, nicely done. Pull that tummy in, strong core, working out at your own pace. Lovely stuff. Breathe out as we go up. <sighs> nice done, three, two, one, excellent. Next exercise we've got, Gonna hold the kettlebell just like this. We're gonna curl into a press, back down, just as a curl into a press. Try not to overextend the elbow, keep it nice and soft. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. So nice and slow with control. Good stuff, there we go. Pull the tummy, keep a nice strong core, head facing forwards. Breathe out as we extend up. Good. Keep it going, working nice and slowly. Muscle under tension. Super job. Well done. Keep it up. Halfway through, looking good. Squeeze the biceps up, squeeze the shoulders. Working the triceps as well as we push. Nice, good, 10 to go. <clears throat> Lovely work, super job. Nearly there. Good, three, two, one. Okay, one side we're gonna work with, do side dip. Hand on the side of the head, weight on the other side. We're just gonna go down, dip, and back up. So round two, we work the other side. Choose how far you want to go and do what feels comfortable for you. Shoulders back, chest out, pull the tummy for a strong core. Three, two, one, here we go. Just like that. Slow and control, working those oblique muscles. That's it, there we go. We're gonna breathe in as we go down, breathe out as we come up. Remember to activate the core by pulling that tummy in, keep a nice straight back. Lovely job, well done. Keep that going nice and slow and controlled. Super work, 15 seconds to go. Keep it up, looking good ladies and gentlemen, 10 on the clock, well done. Super work, keep it up, looking good, four, three, Two, one, excellent. Next exercise, we've got calf raises. So usually we have the weights by the side when we do that, but now we've got the weight out in front. So I'm gonna go up on the toes, slowly release back down, feet are shoulder width apart. 
If you don't want to do it with the weight, you can do it without the kettlebell. Let's get ready. Three, two, one. Up on the toe. Squeeze slowly, release. Keep a nice, strong core. That's it, well done. Gonna squeeze out those calf muscles. That's it, doing a full body workout today, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna feel awesome afterwards. We've got good energy today. Let's keep this going. Looking good, feeling awesome. Well done, just gone halfway, up on the toes. Remember, shoulders back, chest out, pull the tummy in for a nice, strong core. Lovely stuff, good, well done, keep it going. Nicely done, three, two, one. Okay, next we do have the lunge. So we're gonna hold the kettlebell in the right hand, right foot is gonna go back. Step back, come up, and go back down on the same foot. If you don't like the exercise, you can go back to the squat if you wish. Here we go, four, three, two, one, let's go. Just like that, working one side as well, it's gonna help us incorporate our balance so it's very vital, we keep the tummy, keep a nice strong core. Choose how low you want to go within the lunge, do what's comfortable for you. Just take your time nice and slow in control. Shoulders back, chest out, head up facing forwards. And we're going to breathe out as we step back up. <sighs> breathe in as we go down. That's it, good, that's it. Well done, keep it going, less than 10 to go. Super job. Working core with this movement. Three, two, one, excellent. Okay, so next exercise we've got is tricep extension. So we're gonna hold it like this. Get the arm up, comes down between the shoulder blades, and we're gonna extend up like that. Elbows are facing forwards, just like that. Let's get ready to go. Four, three, two, one, extend up. Nicely done. Keep it going. Fantastic. What I like to do is get the bottom of the kettlebell here and as I go up, extend it up, point it to the ceiling. Nice, good. Slow and controlled, breathing out. I feel like this helps squeeze my triceps as I push that kettlebell right up. Nicely done. Slow and controlled, keep it going. Well done, elbows are facing forwards. Keep it up, looking good. Super work. Three, two, one, excellent stuff. So next exercise we've got is the wood chop. Work on one side. So you have the arms here. Just gonna rotate down and rotate back up like that. Pull the tummy, keep a nice strong core and face towards where you rotate every time. We'll change over halfway on this one. Here we go, three, two, one. So down, up. That's it, there we go. So I've got my arms nice and short to take the shoulders out of play. Good stuff. I'll let you know when to change over, ladies and gentlemen. Keep it going. Give you a five second window. Five, four, three, two, one. Change it over. Take your time, change it over. Do not rush it. Love your work, good. Face towards your rotating. Slow and controlled. Good stuff. Nearly there, lovely work, good. Well done, three, two, one, excellent. Next one we've got is a bent over row. So this position here, put the elbow back to the hips, squeeze the muscle and back down, just like that, nice and slow and controlled. Round two, we're gonna work the other side. Let's get ready, five to go, four, three, two, one, good. Okay, so keep that back nice and flat by pushing the chest out, keep a nice strong core. Just gonna row it in. Lovely stuff, good, keep it going. Well done. Looking good, well done, keep it up. Slow and controlled, breathe it out as you come up. Breathe it in as you go down. Lovely, right, like good. Keep it going, looking good. Pull the elbows back. Nice, good stuff. 10 to go, keep it up. Working those back muscles, the lat muscles. Good job, maybe that three, two, one. Okay, next exercise is called a goblet squat because we've got the weight on the front end. Feet shoulder width apart, hold it just here. I'm gonna stick the hips and bum up, go down, 
and stand up nice and tall and squeeze the glute. To make it easier, you can choose your depth within the squat. Let's get ready. Three, two, one, sit down and up. Good, if you don't want to do a squat, you can choose one of the other exercises. You're more than welcome to do that. Lovely stuff. Breathe in as we go down, breathe out as we go up. Lovely, good. As we come to the top, we squeeze those glute muscles and push that chest out. Nicely done, lovely. Keep it going. Fantastic work. Nicely done. Keep it, you're looking good. Well done, five to go. Excellent stuff, three, two, one. Okay, that's round one completed. We're halfway through, Go back to the swings. Feet shoulder width apart. And remember, we use the momentum, push those hips forwards. That will create the swing. And then the kettlebell comes back in between the legs, just like that. Let's get ready to go off in four, three, two, one. Push it up. So remember, we're not lifting it with the arms. We're using momentum. That's it, good. It should feel kind of effortless. Nicely done. Good. Build up and squeeze. And when you get used to the exercise, you can really use the power of the hips, like push on up, just like that. Push. That helps with the core as well. Builds on the glutes as we squeeze them together. Keep it going. Breathe out as we come up. Nicely done, good. Well done, keep it going. Three, two, one, excellent. Okay, next we've got feet shoulder width apart. Head into a squat. Lead up the elbows, hold upright row. Now you don't have to squat, you can just upright row if you wish, or you can just choose your depth within the squat. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, so down we go. Just like that. Nice done. So we're working the legs, biceps, trapezius, and the shoulders. And if you pull that core in, keep it nice and strong, activate it, and work the core as well. Good compound movements, looking good. Nicely done, well done. Back is nice and flat. I will go side on so you can see the posture. Just like this. Breathe it out. Nice, good effort. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. Keep it going. Looking forwards. Super job, nearly there. Five to go, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Next exercise we go. We're gonna hold it by the ears, just like that. We're gonna curl and press, just like that. We're gonna squeeze the biceps as we go up, and as we push them up, we do not fully really extend those elbows. Here we go, four, three, two, one, let's go. Just like that, good. Shoulders back, chest up, keep that core nice and strong. Lovely stuff, well done. Keep that going. Breathe it out as you go up. Nice, good, well done, super work. Keep it up. Halfway through, ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep it going. Excellent, remember, do not fully lock out those elbows. Keep it on a nice soft lock. Pull that tummy in, strong core. Breathe out as we extend. Just like that, super good. Four, three, two, one, excellent. Now we've got side dips working the opposite side. To the right hand from the side of the head. We're gonna dip down, squeeze those oblique muscles, back up we come. Remember, really pull that tummy in throughout the whole exercise. Let's get ready in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Just like that, good. Well done. Keep that going. Nicely done. Just pull that tummy, keep a nice strong core. Work it nice and slow, we, work, we focus on muscle under tension. Nicely done, good. Excellent job. Halfway through the exercise, let's keep it going. Looking good, well done. Fabulous work. You're looking good out there, 10 to go. Let's get a couple more good repetitions in. Nicely done. Lovely job, three, two, one. Okay, we're over to calf raise. So grab the weight by the ears just like this. I keep saying the weight, it's a kettlebell. I do apologize. We're gonna go up on the toes, squeeze those calf muscles, 
and slowly release back down. Now you can do this without the kettlebell if it's too much with the kettlebell. Here we go, in three, two, one, up we go on the toes. Slowly release, nicely done. Pull that tummy in, keep a nice strong core, head up facing forwards. That's it, looking good. Well done, super work. Breathe it out as we go up. Take your time, it's all about controlled movements. Just like that, good. Super job, ladies and gentlemen, let's keep this going. 15 seconds to go. Nicely done, feeling awesome, feeling strong. That's it, well done, keep it up. We're nearly there. Lovely, three, two, one, super job. Okay, the next exercise we've got is the lunge. So left foot, we're gonna tread back this time, holding it in the left hand. Step back, tread back on the same foot. Often 10 seconds. If you don't like the exercise, you can go back to the squat or one of the other ones. Here we go, three, two, one, step it back. Just like that, I'm kicking the dumbbell behind me. So I've really gotta watch my foot in. Love, it's not good. I'm gonna go a bit forwards actually, to give myself a bit more room. That's it. Make sure as we step back, the front knee is not going over the toe. You can choose your depth a bit in the lunge. The key focus here is core stability. Pull that tongue in, head up facing forwards. Breathe in as we go down, breathe out as we stand back up. Good. We've got 10 to go. Let's get a couple more in. You're doing fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep it going. Nicely done, nearly there. Three, two, one, awesome job. Next exercise we've got is the tricep extension. So grab them by the ears, arm up just like this, down between the shoulder blades, extend back up, squeeze those triceps, slowly release back down. Let's get ready, four, three, two, one, so down we go, extend it back up just like that. So we're trying to get the butt of the kettlebell to face towards the ceiling, I personally think that helps squeeze those triceps a little bit more, maximizing this exercise. Good, so remember to keep those elbows facing forwards. Breathe out at the same time as we go up. Lovely stuff, good. Well done, I'll turn to face you. So down, extend up. Core is nice and strong. We're nearly there, ladies and gentlemen. Keep it going. Excellent work. Three, two, one, super job. Next exercise we've got is wood chop. So remember, pull that tongue in, hold that position. Gonna come here, rotate down, rotate back up. Halfway through, we will change over. Face towards where you are rotating. Let's get ready, up in four, three, two, one, rotate down, rotate back up, good. Just like that. Slow and controlled, keeping the arms nice and short, so we take the load off the shoulders. Lovely stuff, there we go. We're gonna breathe out as we go up. Okay, changing five, four, three, two, one. Gonna change over. Nicely done. Pull that tummy in, this will activate the core. Getting those ab muscles working properly. Nicely done, good. Super job. Arms are short. Nicely done, nearly there, three. Two, one, excellent. Okay, next we've got two more exercises to go. Bend over the road, working the opposite side. So shoulders back, chest out. Pull the elbows back to the hip, just like that. Slowly release back down, let's get ready to go. Okay, we're off in five, four, three, two, one, good. Remember to keep the head facing down. If we look up like this, this creates a bend in the back. Keep the head down, keeps the spine neutral. Good, breathe out as you pull back. Keep that tummy in, shoulders back, chest out, core is strong. Take your time for every repetition. Really focus on squeezing the back muscle. Whew. Nice, good effort ladies and gentlemen. Keep it going, 15 to go. Looking good, well done. Put it back and squeeze, squeeze. Slowly release, up and squeeze. Slowly release, well done. Three, two, one, excellent. Last exercise, ladies and gentlemen, is the goblet squat. Feet are shoulder width apart, have the weight out in front, 
sit back into the squat, push up for the legs, stand up nice and tall. And again, if you don't like the exercise, choose one where you do like. Let's finish nice and strong. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. And three, two, one, let's go. Just like that. Nicely done. Again, work with that posture. Shoulders back, chest out, strong core all the way through. Nice, good effort. Well done. Keep it going, keep the head up facing forwards. Breathe in as you go down, exhale on the way up. Good stuff. Whew. And lovely job. Feel the weight on the heels, push up through the legs. Use your power in the legs to push yourself up. Nice. Good stuff. Let's keep it going. Looking good. Three, two, one. Exit. Workout completed. Let's pop the kettlebell down. Nice and done. I'm just going to stop the timer so it doesn't beep at me anymore. Excellent stuff. Now what we're going to do is go for a full body cool down stretch standing. However, you do need to get a drink of water, catch your breath back, hit that pause button. You can always come back to it. Okay, so we're going to stretch out the calf muscles, which are both feet together just like this. Left foot goes out with a slight little bend in there. Back leg here, we're going to make it nice and straight. And we're gonna push the back leg heel into the ground. Posture nice and upright, strong core. If you did wanna go against the wall, to push down on it, to feel it a bit more, you're more than welcome to do that. So remember the front knee doesn't go over the toe. You should feel that stretch in the calf. Lovely stuff, good. Well done. Okay, let's come up and change over. Nice and slow, do not rush here. Right foot out this time, slight little bend in the front. Back leg is nice and straight. Push the heel into the ground on the back leg. There we go. Breathe it under control, so don't hold your breath. In for the nose and out for the mouth. Keep that nice and fluid going throughout. Lovely stuff, there we go. Just gonna hold it there. Lovely stuff, let's release that. Now we are gonna stretch out the hamstrings located at the top of the back leg. Both feet together. My left foot's gonna go up nice and straight, just like this. Right leg is slightly bent. Place the hands on top of the bent leg. We push those hips and bum back just like that. Now with the straight leg, this next bit is completely optional. If you want to feel the stretch a little bit more, take the toes off the ground. You should feel the stretch in the back of the leg. Shoulders back, chest out, pull tummy for a nice strong core. Head is facing down. Lovely work, good effort ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic, come up and change over. Right leg out nice and straight this time. Place the hands on the bent leg. Hips and bump go back, take the toes off the ground. Nice and done, good. Exit, just holding that position. Super work. Okay, let's release that. Stand up nice and tall now. Now we're gonna stretch out the quadriceps, which are located in the front of the leg. If you do show a little bit of balance, I recommend you hold on to something solid, like a stool or a side, just anything that you can get hold of. What we're gonna do now, set the foot up just like this. Bring the knees together, shoulders back, chest out, keep a nice strong core. I will swim around, so you can face on. <laughs> nice little hop there. <laughs> Bring the knees together just like that. Lovely stuff, maintain the balance. Stretch out the front of the leg. Lovely stuff, good effort, well done. Let's change it over to the other side. Nice and slow and controlled, take your time. Do not rush it, focus on your balance, pull the tummy in, strong core. This will also help with the balance looking forwards. There you go, good. Excellent work. Let's release that. Now we're gonna move on to some upper body stretches. So off the shoulders, we are gonna bring the arm across the chest and the other arm comes up through, just like this. If you don't like this position, take the hand over, just gently put across. Keep that posture nice and upright. And if you want to, you can do a little, a little walk on the sport if you wish. Or you can just walk around the room, just pace it up and down. Or you can stay static, it's entirely up to you. Lovely job, nicely done, good. Let's switch it over. Nicely done. Make sure your head is freely movable. That's it, I'm gonna keep the breathing going. In for the nose, out for the mouth. Lovely stuff, good, well done. Let's release that, heading over to tricep, back of the arm. I'm just gonna turn around, please excuse me, take the arm up down between the blades. So the other arm, just gently put across. Keep the chin up, head up, looking forwards. Lovely stuff, good. Pull that tummy in, strong core always throughout. 
Uh, extend, change it over to the other side for the stretch in the back of the arm. Nicely done, good effort, well done. Super work. Okay, let's release that. Now we're gonna stretch out the biceps, so palm facing to ceiling. We're gonna bring palm to palm just like that, push the wrist back for the stretch in that bicep. Lovely stuff. If it's too much for the wrists, just release some of the pressure. If it's still too much, then just wait for the next stretch to come along. Lovely stuff, good, well done. Let's change it over to the other side. Nicely done, good effort. Fantastic stuff. Let's release that. Moving on to trapezius, upper back. Bring the hands in at head height, interlocking the fingers. Elbows are bent, head looking down at the ground. Keep the feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent. That's it, lovely work, good. Nicely done. Okay, let's release that. Let's take the arms from the back, lift up the arms, push up the chest, head up, facing forwards. We stretch out the pectoral muscles. If you want to feel the stretch a little bit more, lift those arms out further. If you want to bring it less stretch, then bring the arms back into the lower back. Nice and done, well done. Good effort. Okay, let's bring it back to the middle. Now we're going to do some neck stretches. Tilt our head to the side, two fingers and just a hold in place for the stretch in the side of the neck. Not too much pressure with the fingers, just keep a nice, slight little pressure so you feel that stretch, so it's nice. Lovely stuff, good. Okay, let's change it over to the other side for the stretch in the side of the neck. Pull the tummy in, keep a nice strong core, posture nice and upright. We always maintain that. Lovely, let's release that. Now we're gonna loosen off the neck a little bit. We're gonna go chin up, chin down, nice and slow and controlled. Lovely stuff, good. Okay, let's take it off to the sides, nice and slow and controlled. Nicely done, let's bring it back to the middle. Well done for completing that 20 minute kettlebell workout. I really hope you did enjoy that. So that's my first kettlebell workout that I have filmed for my YouTube channel. Please let me know how you got on just down in the comments down below. Was it good, was it bad? Would you like to see more of these or would you not like to see any more of these? Well, either way, just let me know down in the comments down below. Every comment that comes through, I will respond to. Thank you so much for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. That's absolutely free of charge. You paid no money whatsoever. Hit that bell notification that says all, because every time I upload, you will get a notification. And today, in my um, with the kettlebell, I used the eight kilogram kettlebell. Could use heavier, but we demonstrate you know, nice and light. Get the posture, get the you know the movement all correct, and then we can move on to heavier weights and challenge the, our body a little bit more. Anyway, thank you so much for joining in. Have a fantastic day. Stay healthy, stay positive, look after one another. Take care, bye-bye.